I don't know what a stadium's gonna give us. Lots of matter, my, my guess. Yeah, loaded up with matter and cash. Turn around, Chino, you're getting shot by a Jeep. There we go, nice. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today's May 6, 2015. And we are about to take Kaiju a go-go out for a short spin. We shall kick the proverbial tires as a word and see why she's good under the hood. And hopefully by the end of this test drive video, you'll have a good grasp of what this game is all about. At least the uh, the general gameplay anyway. And whether or not something that you want to spend your hard-earned cash on. The game is made by Kerberos Productions. It is on Steam. It's been there for a couple of weeks now. It's $12.99 US funds. And it's available for Windows only. Okay, nitty gritty out of the way. It is now time to jump into the game and crush, crumble, and chomp, my friends. Well, not my friends. I, I'm not going to crush, crumble, and chomp my friends because I have no friends, you see. I am an evil scientist after all, operating out of my hidden secret lair here in the uh, Pacific Ocean on Island X. Uh, although I guess you could say I have one friend, one very large friend, Gino. This Ginormosaurus. And I use Gino here, my Kaiju, which stands for monster in Japanese, to bring the cities of the world to their knees, and so that they, uh, they recognize us as the one supreme ruler of the world. I am an uh, evil scientist after all, and any evil scientist worth his salt desires global domination more than anything else, right? So that's what we do. And that's what we're about to do here in a moment. But before we do so, let us just take a look at our secret base. We'll look around, say hi to Gino, and then we'll go out and stomp. So this is Island X. You start on this hidden secret lair. Um, nobody knows that we're here. The nations haven't figured it out yet. But eventually when they do, they will send their military after us when they get their act together. So we have to protect with everything that we are this uh, evil inner sanctum right here. If this gets destroyed, the game is over. Now, we can uh, we can build up defenses around our island here eventually, but we need money, we need resources, we need time. So this is one of the things that we do is we send our kaiju out to beat up on the cities of the world. And if we can get them to surrender to us like we did here with Albuquerque and Anchorage, they will pay us a tribute. So we're receiving right now, from this Region 1 anyway, $126,000. They've waved the white flag and said, enough is enough, go pick on somebody else. Which we're going to do. We're going to head over to Caracas here in South America. Why don't we go do that right now? Then we'll come back and take a look at this other stuff. Because I know you guys are like, just go stop something. So here we go. It's simply a matter of clicking on your target. Right now we're going after the green cities. Which is the lowest level of tier. Uh, white is the next one up. But since we've been to Caracas once or twice already, we're going to continue beating on Caracas. Here we go. Gino, Gino is here. Oh, it's a night job. It was, oh, man. I wanted to do this in the day. It's uh, easier to point stuff out in the day. But the city does look very nice at night, doesn't it, with all the lights? Kind of cool. So here we are. We've been here once, I think actually twice before. You can see that the city's morale is down to 69% and dropping. They've got a, a little unhappy face. They all start out happy at 100%, of course. But because we've been here before... Um, we have we have been working on their morale. They're not very happy. Military has responded. You can see we've got the light tank here, but watch this. I beams. Oh, I missed. Okay, you just stop him then. Oh yeah, get him. You can get him, Gino. Get him. All right, he's gonna step on him in a second, but first he's gonna. There we go. Beat up some buildings. Get some fires rolling here. But yeah, once you um, visit a town, a city at least once. The military starts to respond. Your first visit to a city is usually... Well, no, no, don't leave. Yeah, we just got here. Party's just getting started. <laughs> uh, there really is very little response as far as military goes in your first visit. And our goal, essentially, is to destroy as much as possible. Again, crush, crumble, and jump. Just like in the old monster movies of the 70s, 80s. Uh, Creature Double Feature was one of my favorite TV shows as a kid growing up. It was Saturday... Saturday afternoons, uh, a double feature of monster movies, back-to-back, -back, Saturday on Channel 56 in Boston. Hold on, infantry coming. Oh, never mind, they're gone. <laughs> oh, look at the little peoples running. Uh, you, you just pretty much just want to destroy everything in your path, and it's quite simple to do. Like, right now I'm after this fire hall, so I could just point to the fire hall, and Gino will literally tear everything to shreds on his way to the fire hall. 
fact, let's go get the police precinct here and I'll show you how that works. He's just destroying, he's stomping, he's crushing, he's crumbling. And as you can see here, uh, we are gaining resources as he's, he's uh, destroying everything in his path. We've got money, we've got energy, we've got uh, matter, and hold on. Hi, mm. beebs! Uh, so we are collecting all this stuff. Money, knowledge, matter, and purple tonium. Now, not every building gives you these resources. Some will give you one or two. Some buildings will give you more of one particular type of resource. Houses will give you mostly matter, which is organic matter. I guess I'm just stomping on the residents. These buildings here, which is this a very high-profile target, a high-tech factory. This is probably going to give us a ton of energy. Oh, here comes Jet. Shoot him. Shoot him. Missed. Oh, look at that power. Nice. So now we're... This is basically like our backpack, um, our inventory. So we can stock up on some of this stuff and then bring it back to our secret lair and store it for future... Um, future spending. Here comes a bomber. Get him. Nice. Oh, look at that. That was a big energy burst right there. But you know what? We don't need the energy because we're full up. So let's use some energy. This is a new ability right here. Plasma fire. Let's try it. Ooh, I like. So that sets everything on fire. Let's not take all the energy because um, I don't really need it right now because I'm full up. I think we can probably upgrade our reserves so that we can get more energy. But we're at 300 right now. That's a max. All right, let's uh, let's shoot some stuff here since I have so much energy. Let's try the fire. I just I just upgraded Gino with that. That's plasma fire. Boosters gives us a little bit of a speed. We have the I beam attack and the plasmoid attack, which you start out with. Oh, here's a lovely target. This is some sort of a stadium. The college will give us uh, knowledge. Let's head over that way. And again, we'll just crush everything on the way. Step on those little infantry fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a stadium's gonna give us. Lots of matter, my, my guess. Yeah! Loaded up with matter and cash. Turn around, Gino. You're getting shot by a jeep. There we go. Nice. Burp. He's always burping. Here, let's shoot this. Now, this one's not directed. Oh, wow. Burned a lot of houses. So, moving around here is really quite simple. Like I said, you just point and click, and, and uh, Gino just targets everything in his path. Comes that fighter, get him. Nice. Infantry. Oh, I hear a tank. You can hear the tank tracks. Yep, there he is. These are always fun to shoot. Get him. Nice. Alright, I would like some more cash. Cash is always important for building. Cash usually comes from uh, stores. There's sometimes banks. There's a university down there. High school. Fire hall. I don't see any banks around here. How about some stores? Offices. Give us some cash. Uh, reinforcements have arrived. We haven't got to DEFCON 4 yet. Alright, let's cross the river and let's go into the city. Got some high-rise apartments here. It's going to give us a ton of matter. Although we're almost full of matter, aren't we? Let's burn. Let's just burn it. Yeah, plasmid fire. Plasma fire. There you go. Now that'll set all of these on fire and do damage over time, which is kind of nice. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this as I'm stomping poor innocent civilians of this town. But that's the name of the game. I love me a good monster movie. War of the Gargantuas is probably one of my favorites, but of course, the more familiar monsters would be Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra. Uh, King Kong. Oh boy. Alright, we have a tank here. Let's turn around and shoot that tank. Where is he? I don't see him. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of damage here. If you have obstacles in your way, Gino has to fight through the obstacles before he can get to the targets, which would be kind of a shame. There we go. Oh, there's a bank. We could use that bank. Let's go get the cash. I'm just going to target it. And there's a 24-7 convenience store right there. 7-Eleven right next to it. <laughs> Uh, infantry coming up behind you. Lots of them. The response is getting pretty tough here. Now, they surrendered! No, not yet. I want to get to the bank. Oh, bummer. Well, this is what we got in Caracas right now. We've got 170... Uh, under 7k. We've got 246 energy. 
We got 54 knowledge, 125 matter, but we didn't get any purple tonium. Purple tonium comes from like uh, really high profile targets. All right, we're done here. Let's exit the city, and voila! That's us accepting the key to the city. They have surrendered. Bonus loot, 122 power, and they're going to pay us $67,000 per month to leave them alone and pick on somebody else, which we can do. Fantastic. All right, let's head back, Gino. And there's the icon there. We cannot attack them again. Now, you'll note here... Oops, oh, we're back. Oh, monthly update. Nice. Okay, so the end of the month, um, we get all of our production buildings will produce. We get paid from the, the cities that have surrendered to us. And we have some support costs here as well, obviously. So as long as we have a surplus, we're in pretty good shape. We don't have a surplus of matter. Like our organic processors doesn't produce enough to meet the, uh, the, the, the support costs. However, I find that it's very easy to get matter from cities. The more people you stop, the more matter you get. And there, people are everywhere, so it's not much of a problem. But everything else looks good. Okay, we shall continue. So I wanted to point out that this... These uh, these military fleets and armies here that pop up, um, these start popping up on the map the more damage you do, and they're really tough. I bumped into one of these navies up here one time at Anchorage, and they just kind of float around. But uh, if you do happen to encounter one, they probably will destroy your lower tier kaiju. So you, you do want to avoid them for now anyway. Alright guys, we've arrived back at the base after stomping Caracas into the ground and we're transferring all of the uh, the resources that we collected with Gino into our reserves. And there we go, let's slow down time here and head down to the base and have a look. So Gino is now being repaired, it's going to take about a day, two days rather, and we can speed that up and get it done, no problem. Well, that's evil genius speak for giant Gino is fixed. And now that we have all this cash, we can make some more production facilities here. I'm thinking another fission plant. Uh, we can't make the new training facility. But we're really lacking. You really need power. Although we could probably make some storage. Let's see. This is refrigeration. That's for matter. This stores an additional 500 mat, um, energy, which we could probably use. You go through energy pretty quickly, especially if you use your, your kaiju powers while stopping on cities, because it does require power to, uh, to operate. But I think what I might do is, this is 80k, I've got plenty of cash. Let's go ahead and make a silo here so we can store more. Oops store more power and we just have to find a place for it where is it put it right here i guess fine that's good that's gonna take four days to build and how much does clearing land cost let's go clear some land up here 25k wow seven days we have 198k that's okay yeah go ahead and clear that land and now uh geno's fixed so now we can go and train some more abilities. And I think I want to train some of these defensive abilities. Alright, I think we're going to go with a defensive ability this time. This is an active defensive ability, so we have to activate it to use it. It uses 5 power with a 30 second recharge. It adds 5 armor. And it lasts 10 seconds, but it slows you down by 50% speed. But that's okay. Because there are times when... You're surrounded, there's a couple of tanks, some jeeps, and some infantry, and they get in pretty close. Um, and you just need a, a higher defense as you stomp them into the ground. So let's do it. We have everything we need. It's pretty cheap, but it does take seven days. And there we go. So now while all that's happening, we've got Gino being worked on. We've got the uh, land being cleared and this new building being produced. We can't do anything. Other than wait. So we'll speed up time. My guess is when you have another kaiju, um, you'll be able to send a construction complete. Okay, great. 
when you have more than one kaiju, you obviously be able to send the other kaiju out while things are happening here in the base. So you don't have to just sit here and do nothing. But since there's only one kaiju available in the game at the moment, this is what we have to do. Yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but there is only one kaiju available at the time of this recording. So if you bought the game right now, for example, on May 6th, you have Ginormosaurus available. That's it. But Kerberos Productions has promised that they'll be adding two more kaiju in the near future. And uh, these are the other two right here. And then after that, they will be releasing new kaiju as DLCs down the road. I don't have any details. That's all I know. Um, but the game is still a work in progress, so expect to see more kaiju added pretty soon. <laughs> Heavy metal structure lockdown system can now be deployed to Gino's weak points. Unfortunately, those weak points are her joints. Don't expect to move very quickly while the system is deployed. Okay, good. Let's go do that right now. And here it is right here. It's automatically assigned to a uh, an active slot. Heavy metal. These, by the way, are the passive abilities that I've installed. All right, awesome. So I think we should go out and stomp one more city. I'd like to do one during the day if possible. Let's uh, save the game here. And how about Wellington? It's another green, uh, green tier level one. Should be easy to do. I kind of want to avoid the, this military response up there. So let's go down here and attack Sydney. Hopefully we can, this is a day job. Come on, come on, Gino, run, Gino, run. It's not. Redo. There we go. Perfect, day job. Now we can see the city a, a, a bit more clear. More clearly. Here we go. All right, we are in Wellington. We have taken them by surprise because it's our first attack here. They didn't see it coming. And now we get this crush, crumble, and chomp in relative peace because their military response will be very weak. Crush up a few stores and get some cash. Cash is always good. And hey, how are they getting in that water? I, here, I'll save you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So nasty. All right, let's uh, let's fall back here. Let's scroll out. Let me pause the action and let's look at some of these targets. I want to go after this fire department. And while he's doing that, let's see if there's any. Oh, we have the Wellington Museum. We might get purple tonium out of that. Any kind of unique building uh, might give us that purple tonium. Benzol Gas World is going to give us. Probably a bunch of uh, energy. Oh, police. Oh, police are coming out, huh? Okay. Here, watch this. So this is pretty much it, guys. You, 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 you crush, crumble, and chomp in the cities. You gain resources. You use those resources to upgrade your base and your kaiju. And you go out and you do some more crushing, crumbling, and stomping. My guess is eventually, when your base is attacked, they're going to send kind of a nice and uh, challenging, coordinated effort against you. And a lot of all this is being just to prepare for that. Yep, reinforcements have arrived. Uh, where else can we go from here? I would really like to take down that Wellington Museum. So I'm just going to make a beeline for it. In fact, we might as well burn some stuff in the way. Start some fires. I'm going to use up some of my energy since I I kind of hold back too much. Might as well. So we'll start a fire over there. There we go. Keep going, Gino. Don't stop. Oop, incoming helicopter. The warehouse is down here, which I think give a little bit of money. All right, take that chopper out. Oop, he's going. Never mind. Crush that museum. <laughs> All that history. Purple Tonium, nice. All right, awesome. And lots of knowledge, too. Ooh. Uh-oh. A patrol boat. They have boats here. Interesting. I shoot that jeep. <laughs> I missed. Step on him. Recon chopper. Crush him. Crush him. And never mind, let him go. Let's go get the, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a gigantic police department. Let's burn it. All 
Alright, this looks like a good place to use my heavy metal. There we go. 30 seconds. Oh no, it's 10 seconds of heavy metal. Our, our armor went up to 8. You can see that over here in the stats. And now we can crush, crumble, and stomp. Without taking so much damage. Nice. Alright, how about a college? We'll get some more knowledge. And then I think we'll go. Things are heating up here. We're here, tank. Oh, there he is. Alright, hit that heavy metal. While we focus on this college, get a little extra defense. And purple tonium, nice. Shoot him. Over there. I beams. Good one. You know what? I'm going to hit my boosters. Boosters gives us a little bit extra speed right here. And we can run them down fast. And now we can bolt. We're down to 264 health. I think it's time to go. And we'll go right out this way. <laughs> Just make a path to the exit. First to take that chopper down. City morale's down to 75. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that how it's going to be? Okay. Get some eye beams going. Plasma. Get him. I just want to get that one tank. Get him. Get him, Gino. Come on, stop him. Thank you. That one too. All right, now I think it's time to go. Okay, it's time to go. Let's beat a hasty retreat. I'm gonna leave Wellington, and this is our uh, our loot. I'm gonna bring it back home. We got three purple tonium at Wellington. Wow. Was that from that one museum? That was fantastic. Okay, it looks like we have some damages to repair here with Gino. No big deal. And I think once he's repaired, we'll throw another um, throw another ability on him. I'm not sure exactly which one yet. All right, guys. Being evil is fun and all, but... This video is long enough, and I've got other things to do. So we're going to call it quits right here. I hope I've shown you enough content of Kaiju Gogo -Go so that you can make a uh, relatively educated decision to either buy it or skip it. And I think for my last evil act for the day, I'm going to upgrade Gino with... I think I want these missile jammers because they take a lot of damage from missiles. Let's do it. Train it. Got plenty of cash. That I, yep, we got everything we need. There we go. That simple. Gino's going to get a nice little upgrade. There we go. Seven days. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Hope you all enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. And once again, my friends, this is Kaiju A Go Go by Kerberos Productions. It's on Steam for $12.99. Available for Windows. And now, my friends, it is time to say goodbye for really. So take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.